Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. All the best of the season to everyone. How are y'all? I haven't done one of these in a while and I've been missing doing them. I have a really important subject today. That's a bolo. Someone asked me recently, what is a bolo? Bolo means be on the lookout for because you may just find stumble upon something that is worth some good money in the resale market. Usually at Christmas time, there's something, there's buzz in the air about something or the other. And I'm going to talk to you about that. So if you want to know about that, stay tuned to, uh, to hear about it. But I need to first explain this is a part of my channel. This is the Shai Vanessa. This is the A-Lister show. My shirt looks a little crooked, though. I don't know why. At least I'm not on StreamYard where everything is backwards and on Facebook. Um, a bolo is a be on the lookout for, okay? That's what it stands for, right? And that's what we do here, talk a lot about reselling because we love to thrift. We love to find fabulous things. And we have found our share of fabulous things that we stumble upon. And then we realize they are worth money. Thank you. <laughs> one of those things, it's so funny, but one of those things. So, husband. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Stop. Husbands are not worth any money. They're worth, they're priceless. Let me turn on my, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Let me turn on my do not disturb so it doesn't ring because then it rings up here on the computer. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> I was looking for my phone so you found it because I wanted to make sure I turned it off. Okay, so this show is about reselling, how to get the most bang for your buck out of what you find because eventually, guys, people are not going to be excited about everything that you find. Right. Even the people that you give things to, they may not be excited about it anymore. Your best friend collects bears. She's already got a thousand. She may not need any more bears. Right. So you put them up on the market. You put them up on eBay. You put them up anywhere you can. Macari now is wonderful. I love it. I just sold a wonderful piece over there of jewelry. I love selling there as well. But we're always um, who remembers the cabbage patch? craze. If you remember the cabbage patch craze, let me know because there's always something that's going around that is everyone wants, everyone's born wants for their kids and so forth. So that's what we're going to talk about today. That's what this show is about. Little tips about reselling and that kind of thing. Because along with showing you jewelry, which I'm going to show you in a minute, because I've never bought a jewelry bag so loose. This is like a really loosely packed one and I'm curious about it. We're going to open that in a minute. We're also going to have a little giveaway for the person that can guess the bolo that I'm going to talk about. But I want to know what you have encountered has been a good uh, seller for you as far as this Christmas season. I really haven't sold but Christmas brooches. I think about three of them. I sold more than when it wasn't Christmas. So I guess it just depends, you know, who's shopping for what. But that's what a bolo is, guys. And I don't know if everyone watches me for resell tips and, and techniques, but that's another thing I do. You know, it's just something I I, I feel like uh, is necessary once you start thrifting because you will, you know, if you don't go there just for occasionally for a Halloween costume or, or something like some people do, uh, then you're going to wind up hoarding a lot of things. And that's when the reselling comes in. So what have you guys found has been the hottest thing, gift or maybe even something for kids, some children's gift like the Cabbage Patch. And then there was Elmo. Of course, when the Nintendo's come out, when the new Nintendo came out, I think it was the Nintendo 64. What was it? Was it the Nintendo 64? Right after the original Nintendo, they had an upgrade. forgot which one it was, but people went crazy for it. And they, that's when I first started hearing about people making loads of money reselling what they could what they could find at the store right because people were paying big for it hi lydia how are you let me say hi to a couple of people in the chat oh and then it was christmas sweaters too but now those took a terrible turn terrible turn uh i still call them christmas sweaters but now they're called ugly sweaters now they have kits uh people put garland and and you know picks from floral arrangements and they just ruined the whole thing they didn't let us let us just have our, our what they called ugly sweaters and just be be done with it that was a hot thing too a lot of people were really buying those those still sell pretty well though but not like it was a few years ago when the young people really wanted to wear them to high school and all that and i did see some high school kids the other day waiting for the bus and they were wearing some they were so cute 
All right, Denise is here. Connie. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? Laura, Debbie Kendall, Kit. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Seven Bells. Uh, let me see. Gail Rebus. Lydia got a nice jewelry jar last night, didn't you, over at MSP? What's your Macari username? I think it's Thelma Thrift. I believe it is. I have a few things over there. And I like Macari because you can renew them. They kind of remind you to renew them. And I think it goes up on the algorithm. And then they can also remind you, hey, knock off $5. It might sell. And it really does work. So take advantage of that. No no tips today. I said on the, on the title that I would tell you mine if you told me yours. Okay. But go ahead and just tell me yours. And then if you can guess mine, I'll have a giveaway. Okay, and I will have a giveaway of a jewelry bag, and it will go anywhere in the U.S. and Canada. I cannot go all the way to uh, the Middle East, guys. I'm sorry, but it would cost me almost half my car payment to send it over there. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but uh, I do will I do ship my prizes to the U.S. and Canada. Cannot get this brooch to go back in there. Guys, I was offering this at my auction last night. It's so cute. Look, it's a little vintage piece still packaged. Got to put that away because I keep playing with it. No, Nobody's telling me anything new. Hi, hi Doug. How are you? <laughs> dog. <laughs> Vanessa said, hi, dog. No one knows of anything. Okay. I'm going to guess. Y'all guess my bolo. Let's go ahead and get started with the bag then. But you guys go ahead and uh, try to guess what my bolo is because this is an unbelievable bolo, guys. And if you are lucky enough to find one, you can make some money. Oh, another thing that was a bolo that I now see everywhere. We popped. And I used to own one. I used to own the original one from the mid century, 60s. It's those ceramic trees that everybody wants. Of course, they wanted them a few years ago, right? They wanted the original ones. And I think they were selling for about $80, and they still do. But Cracker Barrel has them now. I went to Cracker Barrel today. Cracker Barrel has them. They didn't go to Home Goods, but Michael's had them too. And I think they're about $40. And, of course, the Silver Tree. I'm looking for a Silver Tree. And thank you for sending me that link. Vanessa, I don't know if it's sold or not. You know, I've never bought on there. Move my computer so I don't think. I've never bought on the marketplace. I mean, on uh, Goodwill. I need to. I need to get acclimated. Just not sure. I don't know. Especially with that shipping and stuff. But the silver trees, the ones from the 60s, a silver Christmas tree. Yeah, that's definitely. Gosh, they're going for $400, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. We're doing a lot of different content here these days. We do ride-alongs. We're doing a jewelry and bagging A-listers all together today because I'm curious about this bag. But um, I try to bring you videos about three times a week. I also do live thrift with me. So you can come along with me and thrift. We almost went to another thrift store. I told my husband, now I still need to finish decorating because I do want to bring you a decorating channel rather a video tomorrow, show you just a little bit of what I did in the other rooms, a little tour, nothing big, nothing major, but uh, I wanted to share that with you, and I'm almost finished with that, I just want to do the kitchen, the counter of the kitchen, you know, the little, where the cabinets are, that's about what I want to finish up, and then I'll bring you that video, all right, and be sure and give me a thumbs up as well, as soon as you walk in the door, or before you go, it looks like 30 people are here, 26 thumbs up. This is a cute little earring. It's kind of those wire ones with uh, some kind of beads. Of course, I don't get too excited till we find the other one. This is cute too. Another earring. This is Mother Pearl on some wood beads with a dangle. Cute. No one bought it. How much was it, Vanessa? They had their trees already 40% off at Cracker Barrel, too, but I may go back. I may go back 
this coming week and then next week because they start reducing them. They were 40% off today, but they'll be down to 50 and even 70%, 75% all through the month till the end of the year. These are really pretty hoops. They are matched. They look really neon, but they're not. They're like a true mustard color. 70 with free shipping. Yes, I saw one at Cracker Barrel that was so beautiful. It was that beautiful aqua kind of blue. You know, like the color of Frozen, the, all of the logo of Frozen, the movie. But it also had like inside silver and blue pines, pine needles. So pretty, but they want it. I think it was regularly three. It was down to two. Expensive, but that's what they cost. Okay, I think this is probably a crafter one. Like you're supposed to glue something on there. This is a cute earring. This moon. It's really pretty. Oh, no, it's not a moon. It's just like a little crescent. Very light, cute. One twenty-five. That's That's very cheap. Was it new in a box? I'm telling you, my local Goodwill had a bunch of them new in a box. And they had about like a 9 or 10 foot one out on display, but it looked like it had never been used as well. Oh, these are exotic. Look at these huge things. I could not wear those more than maybe five minutes. Those are heavy. They're pink and blue. Oh, my gosh. They're really pretty, though. It's something you definitely wear on one special occasion, maybe a festival or something. Look at that. Wow. Wowie. Okay, I didn't even tell you how much this bag was. I forgot. I think it was 29 or 25. And it doesn't even say. It's so funny. Now here's something big. Big butterfly. Tangled up though. Ooh, this is a cute bracelet. Oh my goodness, that is super pretty. It's kind of like, see, and you see, I keep talking about Christmas, guys, but I'm decorating. But you see a lot of this color now in the Christmas decor. The navy is what they're using a lot of, too. And I'm kind of looking for that medium blue, kind of an icy blue. But this is pretty, too. This is an awesome bracelet. It's got a lot of big beads, little beads, seed beads. It's chunky. It's like they're all... Just chunked in there, really nice. That's a well-made bracelet. And it's got the three loops here so you can wear it extended if you have to. Super pretty. I think these are crystal. They're kind of AB, the blue. It's kind of an AB color. All right, I got these cute ones. We're into the big earrings. Look at these. <laughs> Fuchsia. Interesting. Okay, I think these are those big long earrings, and I think we've run into these before. Hmm. Wow. No guesses on the bolas? I cannot believe it. I guess no one's going to get a giveaway. I'll give you a hint it's for children. It is for children, and I know someone personally who sold it for, I think, triple or quadruple what she paid for it. Oh, my gosh. These are super cute. These are like a citrine color, prong set, rhinestones, or they could be citrine. Let me check and see if they're not stamped. Hey, Shirley. They look like sterling. But I don't see a stamp. And they could. No, they're glass. I see bubbles in there. They're really pretty, though. I like them. Simple little earrings. We got a match on the heart. We got these big giant hoops, which we've had before. And other colors. We do have a match on them too. Oh my gosh, these are big. This this bag was probably twenty five dollars. 
25 or 29, that's what they've been averaging. They are huge. Thank you, Shirley. I appreciate that. Okay, we're going to try to take off this mess here. Here's a little chain that is stamped. Interesting bracelet. Looks like it could have been gold over sterling because it's a little faded. Nope, it's Monet. Just a really thin Monet, kind of like from the 70s, little nothing chains. That's what that is. Okay. I think this is a, uh, I was going to say a wine ID thing, but no, it's probably a little earring. Oh, thank you, Stephen. And hoops, more hoops. These are paired. Okay, here are some pink ones. Lots of 80s holdovers, I'm sure, in here. These are super cute. I almost thought it was a little firefly or something. Oh, it's tangled. I still don't have any guesses. Let me know if you have a guess because I can't see it if you did put it in there. You might want to capitalize it. Look how pretty those are. Black mesh. That's really nice. I like those. More of this one. I remember this one from another jar. Yeah, let me set the earrings aside. It looks like we have a lot of earrings in this bag. Oh, I remember these. I don't remember if I had a, a, a match, but I love those. Look how long and pretty those are. And I remember seeing something like that. How's the stream looking, guys? You're awfully quiet. Oh, look at these guys. These are genuine one cent coins. They did compromise the coin. It says one cent. It's been domed. It's got an Indian head. It's 1905. And it says United States of America. And I think I remember running into this one before. And then it has turquoise. A little turquoise tip. There's the bat. The tree was $12? Oh my gosh, Vanessa. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. I really just need to get acclimated with Shop Goodwill. It's just that I'm not on there. I, don't, I think you just have to register. Oh my gosh, these butterflies. They are a mess. But so here's an old chain that looks like sterling or something. Let me untangle that, but it is a big knot. Don't you have to register something, Vanessa? Hi, Tammy. Oh, my gosh. The biggest knot. I'm going to have to leave that to my husband. I don't do these big knots very well. I start getting impatient. I just want to see if it's sterling. Because it looks like it. And I think the thing is right here. It's also got an earring down here, which I do have a match for. Oh my gosh, but it's tangled up with that chain too. There's something gold. Everything is so tangled in this one little chain. That was just a little post. What could this be, guys? 
That's probably a necklace. It could be an earring, though, because we did find some really long earrings. And then this little gold thing doesn't say anything, does it? No, it's just gold tone. Little teddy bear. That's a big mess. Big tangled mess in there. I'll move on. This is going to take way too long. I don't have all night for that. i got to get to doing my invoices. Match on these. And then I have to finish decorating. Okay, these look really pretty, but I don't think they're sterling little hoops. Cute, cute, cute. I think these might be sterling. I don't know. They have a nice patina, but I don't like their, their opening. That makes me think they're not sterling, but the color really looks like sterling. What do you think? More unmatched earrings. This is a lot of earrings, guys. Here's a gold, well, kind of a rose gold. That's pretty, though. So I'll show them to you because there's a lot of earrings. Where's the other one? That's kind of cute. This one has a pretty bead on it. Really heavy for such a small bead. It's got like a red stone there at the bottom. I was lighting a match and my fingers are dark. Clip-ons. I can't believe I can't give away anything. JRM. This is the one that needs to be crafted, I guess. These are cute, though, because you could do, like, Christmas or something on these. Thank you, Tammy. I found this one in a jar, and I bought this one from Creative Lori. And they're both black spinel. Oh, look, these are a pretty green. These are nice. And these match. They're kind of a jade color, acrylic. Someone said Beanie Babies. Oh, someone said Beanie Babies. Well, that was one from the past, yes. I forgot about the Beanie Babies. That's true. These are really long. They have feathers. They have rhinestones. They have everything. Wow. Wow. Uh, we did get the beads that match, so that's nice. Put those in my little lot. But what is the hot one now for kids? It's for kids, and it's not necessarily a toy, but it can be. So, any guesses? Oh my god, what did I drop? Look at these huge earrings, guys. These should be bangles. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's not Disney. It's not Disney. And uh, any more guesses, guys? This is pretty. It's kind of looking like bone or something, but it's not. It's a cross earring. This is all earrings. Someone had an earring idea. I don't think I've run into anything but earrings, right? Oh, these are pretty, though. Look at these really long ones with crystals. Is it two together? Oh, they would look nice this long. <laughs> <laughs> they're two together though, but they're nice. <laughs> I kind of liked it kind of extra long there. These are really cute. They have little black flowers, little crystals. I like these. Really nice. Let me see who else came in. Did anybody? I like those. Yeah, they are easy to put on. They're better than the. Sometimes the posts, they fall as you're putting them on. You know what I've gotten into the habit of doing? I don't know why, but not habit, I guess, but I just do it a lot. It's not a game. Is um, putting one earring on 
on, I guess fixing my hair and maybe putting a ring on, then I forget to put the other one on. And then half the day I'm thinking, did I put it on or did I lose it? You guys ever do that? All right, I do recall this one. So I'm getting a lot of the matches. I need to really start matching these from my old jars because I remember this one too. Yes, I do. Here's the super long feathery crystal thingy as well. So another chain in here. Oh, this is the one with this one is silver. All right, well, we got our money back on this one. This one is, have you guys seen these? I think they're by a SPCA or something. They're sterling. They're super cute. I should give it to my daughter for Christmas. Since she lost her pup. Oh, my gosh, that'd be a perfect gift. And I don't remember what I did with my other one, but I think I may have, um, I think I may have sold the other one. Or put it in a jewelry jar or something. But look, it's a little dog house. And I can't find my loop. Oh, here it is. It's a little dog house. It's got a heart, a little puffy red enameled heart. It's so cute. And I have run into this before. And it's usually starting. It's a really nice heavy piece, too. Hula hoop. Oh, that was a craze. Hula hoop was. Yeah, but those were never really, like, hard to find, right? Yeah, this is marked 925. The chain is definitely marked 925. And then this is marked IF or TF. And then it's got an envelope. So it's like a little envelope on the little dangle. And it says IF or TF. And the house is also sterling. That would be so cute. A little doggy house. I think it's a doggy house, or is it just a house? I think it's just a house, right? I don't know. What do y'all think? Dog houses usually have the little entry right in the middle, right? It's pretty, though. Part of the home, I guess. I don't know. I like it. I'm going to put it on so I can remember to research it, because then I'll forget. Okay, what did Doug ask me? Repeat the question. Okay, sure, Doug. The question is, there is, I was going to share a bolo like the, like the, and that's how I'm sharing, is if you can guess, because if you can't guess, I'm going to share it. But there's a bolo going on right now in the Christmas realm, so to speak. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas, but a lot of people are buying it for Christmas. It's for children. It's And by bolo, you know what that means. Be on the lookout for, which is something that you can buy. <clears throat> And resell it for a lot more. I'll give you another hint. This looks like gold. I'll give you another hint. It's not necessarily a used item. It could be retail arbitrage. And retail arbitrage means you buy it from a store. You buy it from the store and resell it for triple. Not sticking, guys. I'm going to double check on this one. I don't see a stamp yet, but it looks like gold. It's a little tiny hugger earring. It really looks like gold to me. It's got that wonderful patina. The the little the little piercing part also is gold, and they rarely make that gold unless it is. So I'm going to test it. I'm going to keep looking for a mark. That's this right here. It's a little hugger. Looks like real gold to me. So if you guess it right, I'm going to do a giveaway today, which is a little grab bag of jewelry, wearable jewelry. Another hoop, guys. This is pretty much all earrings except for this little sterling necklace, which is nice. This is cute. I remember seeing this one as well. Yes, yes. You thought I said bolo tie. Were you at the uh, MSP auction last night? They had a lot of beautiful bolo ties. And I've actually bought bolos from the ladies of the Carolinas. I'm going to start calling them the Carolinas for Miss Jeannie and Miss Martha. And they have beautiful stuff at their auctions, too. It's a little purple one. Okay. Ooh, this is nice. 
I like this earring. Oh, I like the back even more than the front. <laughs> if you can believe that. Look how pretty it looks in the back. Just plain silver, but look, it's got sparkly. So it's cute. Hi, Carla. How are you? We're having a contest, Carla. We're having a giveaway. We're posing a question. We want you to share if you run into any bolos for Christmas. And then if you can think of the bolo that I'm thinking of, that I know of, that someone bought and sold for triple their money. This is pretty. It's pink. I don't think there's any stones missing on that either. It's really cute. I like it. So, because we're talking about Christmas and, you know, I, all the Christmas things I put up, I sold a few things that were Christmas, but uh, it seems like a lot of the things that um, we also need to think about when we're selling is what people are buying as gifts for their kids, for their home or whatnot, right? Because people are on the lookout for. And where would you go to find that out? That's another thing I want to talk about today in A-list is where would you go to be abreast of that kind of knowledge? Because like I said, this totally surprised me when she told me about it. And and she's told me a few things. These are so cute, guys. I don't know if they're wood. I think they're probably painted wood, but they give off a really nice coral vibe. They're, and they're a beautiful coral, orange coral color. I like those. I hope I find the um, the match. I'm not really crazy about colored hoops, but when they're pretty colors like coral, I, I, I can do it. Oh, look, here's the match. Yay. These are cute. There they are. They have like little carvings on there. Tiffany necklace. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Tiffany's always a, a good seller. That's for sure. And who wouldn't want to? get that right and those don't have any trouble in the resale market but no and i've given a couple of hints it's for kids oh my goodness what is this okay i think this is the broken piece yeah and this is just a piece of something or the other there that broke these are the craziest earrings guys look at this sometimes you win sometimes you lose right but i did get a nice sterling necklace i'm wearing it. it's got a little heart in the house. I thought it was a dog house, but now that I look at it, it looks like just a house. I know I like big earrings, but I don't think I would wear these. I may craft with them, though. Could make them uh, Christmas ornaments, right? Bakelite. That's what I was thinking when, you, when I saw your name. Maybe they could be Bakelite. They're a really pretty color. And I really like them. But they are post, Carla. I, I've gotten some nice earrings, though, really. The, some of these matches are nice. Let me put the matches over here. Here's some. You know what? I already ran into some of these last time, and I did wear these. I had some just like them. They're really nice and red and cute for Christmas. And uh, these are kind of on trend, too. My daughter was telling me that her friend had some, but they were a little bit bigger. And they were red hoops like that, and they look really cute. So the young girls are wearing these too. And here's just some regular little curls there. Okay. Oh my gosh, oversized big 80s stuff. Bakelite does come in that color. And, oh, it does come in post too? Just no seams. Okay. Thank you, Carla. That makes sense. What was I looking at the other day? I was looking at, I love this uh, faux tortoise shell. I was looking at a bracelet and it's still hanging out in my on my desk over at work. Because I was like, I can't believe I even, I even, uh, what do you call it? I even thought about it for a second that it could be ivory when I could see the seam. <laughs> <laughs> then I could see the seam on it, and I could, you could tell it was some kind of an acrylic. I love these. Those are cute. So no seams on Bakelite. Okay, we got a match on these purple ones, the long with the rhinestone baguette, or kind of like a half rondelle there on that. So we got two of those. I'm going to put that in the, in the jewelry lot. So is anybody guessing the bolo yet? <laughs> 
Be sure and highlight my name if you have a guess as to the hottest, what I know of as the hottest thing that someone sold, four kids, tripled their money, maybe even quadrupled. Look at that. That's cute. I think I've had this one before, too. Huge hoops again. Purple. They're matched up. This is the earring lot for sure. Okay, these giant things did match up. Look at that. They're even folded on each other. Okay, here they are. Oh, God, these are huge. This, we did find the match to these. There they are. So you would wear that to be disguised uh, rather in costume as a gypsy or something. Or if you do Renaissance or anything, this would be nice. They make that really nice melodic sound as well. You're terrible at contests. Hot wheel cars. Hot wheel cars, no. Okay. It's not necessarily a toy, though kids do love it. Santa Bolo, no. Do caps. Okay, let me see. Not Hot Wheel cars. Okay, Sandra, the question is, I wanted you to share some bolos, and people have been sharing them, but they're not current. And we did talk about past trends, like the hula hoop, the cabbage patch. No, who recalled the name of the, the second Nintendo after the first Nintendo came out? Uh, that's the first one I ever hear where it was actually on the news. I remember driving and someone was announcing people are selling the, the the next generation of Nintendo systems for triple what they pay in the stores. And I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. My kid was a little bit young and I wouldn't have spent that much for it, but he, I think he got his first Nintendo when he was about that. I didn't have that kind of money to be spending on that, but I remember hearing that. And that's the kind of thing I'm talking about more like retail arbitrage, not necessarily like, necessarily like we were talking about those uh, ceramic Christmas trees or now the aluminum trees, but I'm looking for the original, you know, uh, 60s one with the color wheel. I know they repop them and all that, but the ones that are original, they're $400 on, on eBay. Okay, this is just a little disc, and I think there is a match. Just a lot of earrings, guys. I mean, I have to show them to you because that's all we have is these earrings. And the necklace I'm wearing, we did get another gold thing here. So maybe these are real. I'll have to test them. They really look like it, and they're not magnetic. So now we have two. It would be wonderful if they are. I haven't found a stamp yet, but they do look like it. Can't imagine what shopping would be. With, with what? With, <laughs> with uh, Christmas right now? I haven't gone near the stores. I've just gone to Michael's and the Hallmark store. I got some ornaments today. That's it. You like jewelry. It was the Super Nintendo. Yes. And I don't remember what they cost back then, but I think people were selling them for like $500, $600. They were tripling their money. These are pretty too. These are really pretty pink. Different shades of pink. Those are really cute. I hope I find the match to that one. We did get this vintage one that I showed you, I believe. This one's missing something. Put that in the crafter lot. Crystals. Lots of earrings. Some are matched, some are not. These are cute. These are stars. Clip on. Good condition. Those are really pretty. Really nice and, and color, color still on there as well. All right, let me see. Carla found an old one on Shop Goodwill. Oh, yeah, I know, Carla. She found one for 12 Why didn't you just buy it for me, Vanessa, and then I'd pay you back? I know, I know. I just don't know. Do I have to register first? $12. I was on the car when I was reading your email, too. I was like, what? what? So, I don't know. I don't know. That's a that's a steal. You should have bought it. You should have done some retail art <laughs> and resold it for 400. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on. I think if people try to put a 
an email, guys. It doesn't it doesn't show on the chat. So that might be what the deal is. I have never purchased on Shop Goodwill. I was doing some shopping and looking with Vanessa one time we were doing that. We we're looking around. That was fun. But I've yet to buy something. So do you have to register? And it's just like another, it would be another vice, Carla, honestly. <laughs> it would be another, I'm bad enough with the, with the auctions. Just can't seem to get enough of those. The jewelry auctions. and But Vanessa has like a, she's got like the mojo there. She can really find the good stuff too. Okay. Okay. I'll look at it then. Because I want to buy some of them. Some more Christmas trees for next year anyway. I always had at least three trees. Okay, these are matched up. They're in there. They're just little green beads. They're still on their card. They're cute, though. They're a nice color. And, um, okay, we did get the two feathers, but I don't know where the other one is. Here it is. Two long feathers, rhinestones, everything. Super long. That little jar is getting huge. So I will do a jewelry grab bag. If you can guess the bolo that I'm talking about, it's for children. I will tell you that it sells for, I believe, $250. But people are selling them for triple that. Two to $300 is what it sells for at the store. So they're not vintage or anything like that. They're new items. It's a new item. It's the hottest trend. And I'm going to tell you where to go to, to know about these things. All right. Another earring here. We do have a match on this one. Let's get that over there. Some clip-ons too. What is this, Napier? A little heart. It almost looks like a zebra stripe or something. Kathy, how are you, Kathy? Oh, my gosh. See, that would be another addiction. I'm already addicted to thrifting, guys. <laughs> we almost went to another one on the way home. This one's pretty. I don't think it's real turquoise, though. And um, I told, and we did stop at, the, at my honey hole on the way home. And I bought a few things there. I found some really nice vintage Christmas set things, ornaments, a beautiful angel, and all that. I'll show it to you in my Christmas uh, decor video. And then my, I told my husband, do you want to stop at this estate sale that was open right now? It's on Sunday. And he missed the turn. I think he did it on purpose, honestly. We did find these, and I love these. I think these are nice. They've got that really nice Middle Eastern look design and I said it's okay I'll just it's okay I don't need to do it. I need to go back home and do my invoices and um, shipping and all that he said yeah you'll probably go tomorrow anyway you'll go thrifting tomorrow anyway so it's true we got some silver ones these are matching up too something jade cute these are super cute. These are sterling. I can tell by looking at them. They're, they're made really nice and they have that patina, but I don't know if I have a match. Little hearts. To look a little heart hoop there. Let's see if we see anything interesting. Oh, we do have a match. Great. So we have a match on that one. These are, oh no, I thought they were two. I thought there was like a, kind of like that. Folkloric design. They were tangled up, but they're not. They're just pink ones. We're going through. <laughs> hmm. We're not buying here, Thrifty Hoarder. I buy, uh, I sell on Facebook. Just find me on Facebook, Thelma Thrift Members Only, and I do an auction on Saturdays. That's a really pretty one. I just do. Um, hauls and things like that here on the channel and thrift with me and right now we're doing a contest and we're also um, going through a jewelry jar these are super cute are they nautical no oh, they're stars there's two of them 
they were kind of tied together. A little black enamel, I mean, red and white enamel. These are cute. I got the buttons matched, little blue ones. So we got these. So I think I had like three pairs of these then. These big blue ones. Because I just found another one. I thought I saw them before. So I think there's like three pairs running around from other jars. These are cute. These are stamped. N.A. I don't know who N.A. is, but these are pretty. Okay, we got a match on these. And I think these are... Stir oh, there's two hanging together there. The ones with the rhinestones. And these are just gold. And these are silver, I believe. Or they look like it. And I've seen this style before, too. They may not be. They may not be sterling. They've got a nice design, though. What's the Facebook group name? Thelma Thrift Members Only Auction and Sale. Same as the channel, except it says Members Only. Oh, my gosh. This is cute. Little bunny. Little bunny face. Here's some vintage ones with twist backs. They're matched. Nothing written on them. The rhinestone. Top shelf exchange. Yes, that's the that's the public page, top shelf. And then the auction page is uh, Thelma Thrift members only. Okay, I've seen this cat before too. A lot of these, these are matched. I put them in a crafter lot though. They look good for crafting, I think. Oh look, these are bigger. Or they stretched out. They're not they're not sterling. I think these got stretched out. They look a little bit bigger than the other one. Okay, we gotta match on these. Oh my goodness. Look, this is kind of like the one I got from Sandy one time. That was like a weird looking earring and it was sterling. And it's tangled up. You just put it in your ear like that. It's like a little curly cue there. An electric scooter? No, that's not it. Uh, another hint. I don't think it would benefit anyone over 10. I don't think that, that anyone over 10 would enjoy it as much as the toddler set or uh, elementary school age. All right. We did get a match on these. Any other guesses in the chat that I missed? Thanks, guys, for being here. 55 people, lots of thumbs up. Be sure and hit the thumbs up. You got addicted to Goodwill as well. That, and I never started with the, um, these are pretty. I like the colors on that. They're shell, they're gold. And then the natural mother pearl color at the top. Um was the, what was it, thread up? I never started that either because that would have been another problem. Did you ever do that, Vanessa, the thread up? Mystery boxes? Oh, these are cute. These are AB stones, and they're in a heart there, just encrusted, all different sizes. These are really pretty. I like those. And please forgive my nails, guys. I've been decorating for the whole week. And I even bought some more garland today to put up, so I gotta get that. Oh, these are little vintage rhinestones, rhinestone earrings. And then I like this one here. This one almost looks repurposed or something. I don't know. Little rhinestone strand. Snuggles the bear. I haven't heard of that one. No, no, it's not Snuggles the bear. Another hint. It would take up a lot of room. And you do use it indoors. Hello Kitty, we got her matched up. 
these have to be Christmas ornaments, guys. I'm going to turn them into Christmas ornaments. Those are cute. Ships to Canada. I don't know. I know they, 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 some things are expensive to ship. These are pretty. Little chains. This looks like an eye. It's an earring. It's like a peacock feather too, though. Kind of. Hi, Lily. How are you? My gosh. These are little huggers. Magnetic clips. I have a feeling these would hurt. That's glass in there. That topaz colored one is glass. Kind of a brutalist style. I'm not even gonna show you the simple ones. They're just hoops. These are pretty. Nice design on that. We got a match on these. Anybody want to buy these? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, hello, Paulita Garcia. How are you? How's the weather in South Texas? It got so warm here. The air conditioner's on full blast right now. I could not believe it. I was wearing a jacket. We got the match on the gold ones. I like these a lot. These are a pretty color. I like wearing the shell earrings, guys, because they're so lightweight. They're comfortable. And they have impact, you know. You can wear big, long, dangly ones. And they don't bother you. I really like these. And look, I got them in pink, too. All right, I'm happy now. And we did get a sterling, a sterling necklace. These are pretty, too, in a peach color. Very cute. And a rose color, uh, like a rose gold hook on those, too. Those are really cute. Copper as well. This is not a shell on the top. This is a copper color. I like those. There's some interesting earrings. Here's some really, they're all very long chandelier. Lots of chandelier style. We got some matches here on the pink ones. Those are matched up. I don't think I found the match to this one yet, but these are pretty too. So we did match up the pink. Nice. And, oh, here's the red ones. These matched up too. Well, at least they matched them up, right? At least they're not all single. That would have been really, really upsetting. Oh, thank you, Paulita. Cozy weather, yeah. Yeah, but I want it to be cold. I want some cold winter stuff. I know, I know. You guys don't like it up there in the north. Well, some of you do. These are nice, guys. These are really kind of cool. They're a real pretty peachy color at the bottom. This is glass, a smoky quartz color. So I like these. These are very pretty, and they are matched. There's quite a bit of, of matched earrings here for sure. These were matched up too, the little bar. That up there. Mm, anything. I'm still looking for sterling or something though. You never know. More sterling would be nice. This is just a little silver one. I thought it might be kind of look like it. No, let me see. Did anybody else guess? I'm giving you lots and lots of bolo hints. Let me just say this because I'm almost finished and I'm trying to give away a bag of jewelry. For the one who guesses. Can you, Carla, have you made a snowman yet? Oh, Carla's over there in Siberia, close to Siberia, right, Carla? Send me some snow, Carla, and dry ice. What is a BOLO? Okay, see how we're learning here? Every day we learn something. BOLO is an acronym for be on the lookout for. So that's basically for people who resell. These are really cute, guys. These have a really nice glow. They might be a genuine uh, natural stone or something. 
I'm glad we found these. And here's the other one. I may just put these on so you can see how they look. Take off my little silver ones that I got at Sandy's auction. Someone was kind enough to send them to me. So it means, okay, if I find out that these glasses are at Walmart for 10 cents, well, a dollar, okay, they're a dollar. And then I just found out that they're like the hottest thing ever, like I did with something that said Frozen not too many years ago, uh, about three or four years ago when Frozen came out. Then I find out, I look on, uh, I can scan it, look on my Amazon seller, I can look through eBay. And wow, someone is paying $10 a piece for them now because they're like so cute and so rare and somebody wants them. That's a bolo. So I'm telling you, be on the lookout for these glasses that are at Walmart. And I'm just making an example. I'm exaggerating. These glasses are, are available for a dollar at Walmart. And guess what? I'm selling them for $10 a piece on Amazon. That's a bolo. So my question today was, there is a bolo out there right now for children. It's like the hottest thing for kids, for Christmas especially, that I know of someone personal who bought one and sold it for triple what she paid. And she said, you know what? I know I bought it for my kids, but we can use that money. <laughs> That's more important. <laughs> so I'm asking you to guess what it is, or maybe you know. And then I'm going to tell you what it is if you don't guess. And I'll probably do another contest anyway because it's just not fair for you not to guess. I thought you don't, some of you guys might know. Uh, and I'm going to give you some tips on where you should be looking and and lurking and talking and socializing with people to know okay these are super cute do we get the match on these i think i've had these before and i thought they were sterling those are super cute they look a little bright so does anybody have any more guesses and we mostly the toddler age would enjoy the, the bolo that i was talking about it will take up a lot of room in your home so it would probably have to be used in a game room or something or a bedroom it is not for any particular gender or sex or anything. Okay, this is a post of hearts. Any more guesses? Thank you, Balita. I appreciate that. Those little monkeys that go on. Did I put the other one on? The little monkeys that go on the finger. Are those little finger puppets? I haven't heard of those, Carly. That sounds interesting. We found these beautiful little hearts. These are so cute. They are like an AB and they're just, I just love the way they look. They almost look like little moon craters or something. But they're embedded there with um, AB stones, gold tone. Legos, no, it's not Legos and it's not anything Lego related, though that has also been on the Bolo list many times. But people do fake those now, so be careful. And I just noticed, you know, I've always been, um, telling you guys about fake bags and uh, how back in the day when Dooney first came out, they were faked big time. Well, they're faking them again. And I, and I didn't realize that till I got on a couple of uh, websites and I saw they were, they're faking all their bags, all the new styles they're fake too. Such a shame. Okay. Here's a nice little script. Scribble. I think they call this one scribble. A little shell, stack of shells on this one. Cute, all colors, pinks. Remote control helicopter. No, that's really cute though. Remember also, I said guys, that it's not necessarily a toy, though it is used in play and can be playful. Yeah, I've had more than one pair of these. Not missing stones, sapphire looking. Really cute. I love the be the bead and uh, bead and bar chains. Super heavy, but you could wear them for an evening. So Paw Patrol Lookout Tower is that is that popular right now? Paw Patrol Lookout Tower. I need to go down Walmart and look in the aisles. I don't even know what what's out there anymore. Again, lots of little chandeliers. Every size you've ever seen, small from small to big. We do get a match on these little. These are cute though. I really like geometric things like this too. Just circles and then a bar matched up. I'm filling up my matched up earring jar right now. It's almost full. These are gold. 
My daughters are home. Did get a match on that. And we did get the um, the faux tortoise that I love so much. This one also has kind of a brown look at the tip. All right, I'll probably ask another trivia question because I do want to impart the knowledge to you about this bola. And I don't think anybody's going to guess it. And along with that, I'm going to... Um, to tell you where you can keep abreast of this information. Another Brutalist style. Jukebox. Oh, nice. Little flying discs that respond to your hand signals. Kathy's in on all of those toys. I don't know about those. Oh, these are cute, guys. They say sterling silver. They look like one of them could be. I don't know why they're here. I think the ball is probably the little bead is sterling. And the little butterfly is super cute. Those hoops, bake light. The brown ones, I don't know. Carla, do they come in those kinds of colors? They're kind of like a faux tortoise shell color. And uh, and I already put those orange ones that we thought might be bake light. I don't think these are. Because they're tortoise at the tip. Tortoise shell color. That's a heart. Drop some earrings that I already showed you. The, most of these are matched, guys. They really are. So it's not a bad bag. And uh, really not a bad bag at all. Right, they look new. Oh, those sort of, they are cute. Those little flying discs, no, it wasn't that. If you do want to guess, guys, do it in caps. I can see it. Hi, Noble Strength. If I didn't say hello to you guys, it's not that I didn't want to. I'm just trying to get through the video so I can go finish doing my inventory stuff. Hey, Jennifer. The question, Jennifer, again, was there is a hot, hot commodity right now for sale. If you can find one, you're lucky because people are paying triple the amount so their kids will be the happiest on earth. At least that's what we think, right? When we try to do this stuff, or you just feel like you have to have it for your kids, and um, it's really hot. I've never heard of it, never even thought of anything like that to sell, to resell. But a person that I know who doesn't sell professionally <laughs> doesn't resell professionally, but um, is very astute on all things like that. These are nice, I love these. These are turquoise colored acrylic but i love the way they played with all the shades of turquoise and even the designs the the beads and the the little bugle bead type these are cute i hope i find the, the match to these so if you can guess it kids ride in a car kids ride in a car guesses hi y'all Video game consoles. No, that's not it. But those were really hot a couple of years ago, too. Those were... Oh, oh these are cute. Look, guys. These are like little sequins uh, palais or whatever. They're so pretty. The pink colors are so shiny. I know. I'm sorry. But I'll tell you in a minute. And I'm going to do another trivia question anyway, just so we can do a giveaway and I can get off of this this uh, video. We did have a match of this. And I can get to doing my invoices from last night's auction. And what else do I need to do? I need to finish decorating the kitchen. I've already finished my blue room and my uh, my where my Christmas tree is right now. We do have a pink tree upstairs that my daughter's supposed to decorate. I'm not going to do that one. We actually spray painted a tree that we had. It's kind of a three foot, four foot. And I had a gold one and I had a white one and the white one turned yellow. I don't know if you've had that problem. So I had some pink left over from spray painting my headboard and my husband did it and he did a great job on the, on the tree as well. These are 14 karat backs. In the back, it's so funny. You can tell on the backs, guys, do look at your backs. This will probably sell just a little back in weight. You can get about $10 for that. And I, I've been scrapping a lot of gold. It's, it's You probably can't read my attention. Just because you're not, even if you think they're junk 
on your earrings. Look at every single back because often 14 karat, and that one is stamped 14 karat. A bunk bed that looks like a playhouse fort. A bunk bed that looks like a playhouse fort. Do you know what that's called, Kathy? That's cute. Twister game. This is matched. You know, I saw a Twister retro, but I think they brought it back to look retro. The packaging was retro. So funny. A bunk bed. No, it's not. Uh, this is gold, too. <laughs> so what is it called, Kathy? You're close. I'm going to tell you that. You're close. Okay, so now everybody's going to go look for bunk beds. But I want the name. I want the name, and if you can't tell me the name, then I'm going to do another trivia question. This is broken. It was plaid with something on it. <laughs> it's not the twister. Oh, I did get the match on the turquoise. These are cute. Super cute. I like these. Hi, Leticia. More hoops with enamel. Blue ones. Any other guesses? A PayPal so kids can order on a wish. Wow. Here's a little ladybug. Kathy, you have another guess? Little coins. You have another guess? Because it's not a bed. Somebody else had said something about a bed. It's not a bed. And it's got a name. Oh, these are pretty. And I think I've had these before. This is an aqua blue. I think I have the match or may have two or three. Looks like everything else I may have showed you already. So I'm, I'm running into their matches. Here's something that looks like genuine turquoise. I hope I find the other one. That one definitely looks like real turquoise. Oh my gosh, my nails are horrific. There it is there. The matrix looks definitely big noodle tree fort. Big indoor tree fort. Lily and and uh, Kathy, you're very close, but I need the name. I need the name of that thing. And it's not, and it's not a bed. got a certain name and it's got to be that name because that's the way parents are we want name brands frozen igloo oh that looks that sounds interesting no more guesses uh i'm doing a contest today if you can guess that name if not it's okay we're going to do something else and i'm going to tell you the name of it oh this is pretty very icy. It reminds me of my blue room that I did in icy blue and all of that. Pretty colors. These are a really pretty turquoise color. They're just beads. Very nice color. Air Fort Jungle. Is that the name of that one? TP Style Tent. No, not a tent. Fantasy Fort. No. Kids Fantasy Fort. No. Frozen Castle. No. Dollhouse loft, dollhouse loft, big indoor tree fort. Those sounds, those sound really nice. Sleepover fort. Missed the question. The question is, I'm looking for the bolo that's selling one of the hottest toys that I know of. Someone personally who sold it, bought it for their kids, but then sold it. Didn't even unbox it. It was delivered, and she didn't even unbox it. 
and because she found out it was a hot commodity and she tripled her money on it and decided to buy her kids something else. These are cute. And I need the name of it, the exact name of it, because that's really important because, of course, there's always going to be a knockoff. But um, And if you can tell me, I'm going to give away a little bag. I'm going to send it to you if you live in the U.S. or Canada. I will send you a little grab bag of jewelry. Here's some more little twisters. These are cute. These have a baguette. Let me get them out of here so you can see them cute. I mean better. Oh, they're really twisted though. Let me see if you can see them like this. There they are. So you can guess it. That's the contest. Pacific play Tickle Me Elmo. <laughs> no, Tickle Me Elmo. I don't even think you can give those away now. Surprise Castle. Uh, you know what? Elmo is hot, though, but Elmo is hot in the soft, plushy variety. I don't know, because a lot of people really, a lot of kids like to cuddle them. So the Tickle Me Elmo may still be hot, but I heard my daughter told me that a couple of years ago that all the Elmo stuff sells really, really well on eBay. All right. These look like they're sterling, but I don't think they are. They just have that really nice look. I think they're, they're just silver tone. They're cute. All right, are y'all ready to give up so I can give you another question and we can win something? These look like sterling too. These are sterling. These are little ster tiny little hoops. <clears throat> Say yes if you want to just give, an, give me another question. Say, give me another question. And we can all learn what the bolo is and you can go find one. If you can, <laughs> it's one of those things you gotta you gotta be there at the right place at the right time, and I'll tell you where to be, okay? <clears throat> Which is where I'm gonna start hanging out. Okay. Yeah, the rest of these guys are they're typically that's just an earring lot. Basically, this is an earring lot, except for this sterling piece that I got here. I think those gold ones. Maybe gold. I'm going to test them. They really look like it. I found some gold backs. I'm going to look at the backs again as well. One gold back. So not bad for a $25 uh, jar. Lots of matched earrings, so that helps. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, Kathleen. I'm just going to stop driving you crazy. Here it is, guys. Here it is. Write it down. Take notes. The bolo is called the nugget. It's called the nugget, and it is, I believe, from... If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was from Ikea. So it is a sofa. It is a sofa made for kids that you can take apart and you can make into either two little seats or a big sofa, or you can crawl under it. So basically it can be a fort, I suppose. And it is selling, I think it originally sold for $250. People are selling them up to $1,000 on eBay. And the person that I know that bought it for their kids is young, millennial. And uh, she sold it for, I think, I think she got an offer when she first put it up for like 750 or something. She got an offer immediately. She had so many watchers and she's not an eBayer. She only buys on there, but she heard about this. So she wound up selling it for, I believe, $800. And all she posted was a stock photo which they allowed as long as she took a, a real picture as well. And she took the picture of the item on her on her porch because it had been delivered and she had never opened it. It's called the nugget, like a chicken nugget. The nugget, that's all it's called. So you can find it on eBay. You can see what I'm talking about. That is the latest that I wish I had known about. And I wish I had gotten in on that retail arbitrage because that's your bolo for today, the nugget. And where she finds this information out, this is what I want you to do. What I want you to also take away from today's show is where to be to be, to have your ear, what does it say, ear to the ground or something, is the Facebook mommy groups. Go and, and join some of those Facebook mommy groups. That's where she heard about it. She had bought it just because she wanted it for her kids. And then she heard about people selling it on the Facebook mommy groups for thousands of dollars. And then she went to eBay and she lists, she put it on the Facebook group as well. And she was harassed on it. It's so funny. People are so ridiculous. Somebody 
shamed her for trying to make money like they do to all of us that resell. Right. And uh, I just told her to say, thank you for your, for, uh, thank you for your interest. Cause all she did was criticize the for it. But anyway, she sold it on eBay. She quadrupled her money. It was amazing. Be on the lookout. Bolo means be on the lookout for the nugget. And that's what that sells for. Be abreast of things like this that pop up. I've never heard of them. Different things come up that mothers must have for their kids. And you can find out easily if you go on some of those Facebook groups that are for mommies or for new parents or for parents in general. And they talk about what they're looking for because they're buy, buying, selling, and trading. And as was the case with this particular bolo, that's called the nugget, making money. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that. But first, I'm going to do a contest since nobody guessed the question. And I still wanted to share that bolo with you. And I want you to share some with me. And you did. And I thank you so much for that. And if you watch this later on the replay, be sure and let me know in the comments section what was your bolo that you thought it was? What was one that you found that we didn't hear about? What is one that you remember from the past? I shared the Super Nintendo. Well, I couldn't remember the name of it. Someone shared that with us. From what I remember when my kids were small, that was a, one of them, the Cabbage Patch, of course. But I'm going to make another easy question. If you watch my um, YouTube at all, if you follow me on Instagram at all, if you know anything about me at all, you will know this question like this. And the question is, I have a, a decor right now going on that I'm almost finished with. And I shared with you the other day what inspired me for it. There are two answers. And uh, I don't have them written down. We work on the honor system here. But if you can tell me what my inspiration was for going blue in one room for my for my decor, then you can win that grab bag. First one to answer and the first one that I see. Because your name will always appear first when you enter it. And that is it. All right. Blue Christmas Elvis. And it looks like Miss Scarlet was the first one. That is correct. That is That was one of my inspirations for that room. That and, of course, I, I talked about the Holy Night and the Holy Family and um, Silent Night and all of that has always given me that that uh, connotation of blue. And I'll share some more things with you when I do that tour. I'm going to do a little Christmas tour of my decor and I'll share a little bit more about um, stories and inspiration and things that I put in that room for that brought down a lot of nostalgia and I hope you enjoy it. So come back and see that video and congratulations, Miss Scarlett. I think it is right. Scarlett. Uh, I will put my email in this video once it uploads and uh, then you can send me your address and I'll send you a, a nice little juicy grab bag of jewelry for participating. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up on the way in or out. And thank you again, guys, for everything. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.